Hello and welcome to norot4u.com and 4 uhs by uhscom This presentation is about electric field in wrong connection of a lamp to the electric socket. Hello, my name is Amir Borstein from norot4u.com. Today we're going to talk about something that most of us do not know. Me included, by the way, until I got a meter that shows the problem. This is something that you will find in most houses. It's a lamp. It's a normal very normal very simple lamp the light inside is an incandescent light bulb and there's a wire going to the uh, socket and there's a two pin plug down down the wire there's a switch a on off switch okay you can see how it's activating the light and there's a metal bar and then the, la the light inside is incandescent since we don't like any CFA lights, right? Well, most of us think that, most of us, me included, are not aware of this, the following issue. I'm using the Cornet 88T. I'm using it in a electric field. I'm standing just uh, like half a meter away from the lamp. And as you can see, there's pretty, pretty big uh, electric field over here. And when I track it down, I can see that it's coming from the lamp. But how come? The lamp is not even active. There's no light inside. So what's happening? Okay. Well, let me show you how to fix the problem. And then we'll discuss what to do with it, okay? Now, um, this is the high field. I'm gonna take away, take the plug switch it and put it back into the socket and let's see what happens now where did that field went there's nothing now okay the lamp is still off but now there's no electric field from the body of the lamp if you travel down the wire to the switch we see as that as we go closer to the switch now there's electric field over here now this electric field exists here because the wire just up to the switch now has 200 and 220 volt because we are in israel right now in the us it would be 110 volt uh, and the the switch actually cuts the electric uh, electric supply so now there's pretty much very low electric field okay and the bar has nothing the wires still have something because I'm, I'm pretty close to the wires here and the setup is not ideal let's try it put it like that now the setup is better okay we can see here there's a little bit of electric field but most of the electric field is blocked by the switch now what happened? The switch is only by one polar, which means it cuts the phase. Okay. Now this plug over here has two pins, phase and neutral. And if I put it, this is the right way to put it. In. This is the phase, and this is this is the neutral, and this is the phase. Okay. The right way to put it in is like that. The wrong way to put it here is to put the neutral to the phase and the phase to the neutral and now the one pole single pole switch over here do not block or do not cut the electric supply and the electric supply runs up the wire and to the bar of the lamp okay so this is a kind of a big issue and uh, it creates a, a, a problem in which you are not using a lamp, you sit next to it and you're still exposed to electric field. Okay, so so if we we have a meter like the trifle meter or the 80, the Cornet 88, we can see this electric field and we can simply switch the direction of the plug. And now there's none. Of course, even now that if, if the, the power will be on and the LED the, wall, the lamp will be 
working, we will still see some electric field. Okay? It's still lower than it was before. Okay? Or similar. But on the time, most of the time when the lamp is off, there will be no electric field. The way to uh, fix this problem is to switch this plug to a 3-pin plug or to switch it to a 3-pin plug with an on-off button on it. This will uh, also uh, fix the issue of even if you correctly uh, connect it, you'll still have some electric field on the wire itself. Okay? So, I hope it was simple to understand. This is very, this phenomenon is very, uh, can be found in uh, most houses. And make sure that you don't have this issue. Use a meter, scan the house, find problems and fix them. This is all for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.